So, where are we and what are we doing? I'm having a look at uh, Unigen's latest, newest benchmark. This is called Valley. So this is Valley benchmark running on my uh, Windows uh, gaming rig. A uh, little bit about the computer. It's Intel 2011 socket and it's a 3930K. It's overclocked a little bit to 4 gig. Uh, I've got 16 gig RAM running at uh, 2133 and I've got a pair of 7970 graphics cards from XFX. They're factory overclocked to a, to a gigahertz, so they're gigahertz editions cards. So as you can imagine, it's chomping up this quite nicely. Uh, this is being recorded with Fraps right now, so Fraps is affecting the frame rate, so don't bother looking at the frames per second uh, in the top right or bottom right, because as hopefully you, you're all aware by now, Fraps kills your frame rate. The actual frame rate I was looking at while watching this through was somewhere around 150 most of the time. There's a section with some detailed rocks that come up with the wet rocks, and that dropped it down to about 70. and gave us a pretty healthy average frames per second. I'll show you the results at the end. One of the unusual things I'm doing is this benchmark also runs on I, um, Apple, and on Linux. Now I can't test the Apple variant, but I can test the Linux variant, so that's what I did as well. Uh, on exactly the same hardware, I'm running Ubuntu 64-bit and it's the uh, 12.10. So it's exactly the same hardware. Now what you're watching is DirectX 11. Obviously under Ubuntu it's not going to be DirectX, it's OpenGL. Now some of these wet rocks, the only visual difference I saw is some of the wet rocks I believe will look slightly nicer on Ubuntu than they did on Windows. So yeah, I don't know quite what I can read into that, it's purely subjective on my point of view. The primary difference between running this benchmark uh, on Windows as compared to running it on Ubuntu is performance. Ubuntu basically with the drivers from AMD at the moment, sucks. It's really low frame rate in comparison. I mean, if it was a game, you could still play it. At this detail level with my hardware, yes, I could still happily play this on Ubuntu. It's playable as a game, but as a benchmark, yeah, it's not good. Going from 140 frames per second average, which we're getting here in Windows, even with Fraps running, I'm getting about 70 to 80 frames per second. On Ubuntu, much lower. It was down in the 40s which is is not good now it never really dipped also i noticed that the graphics cards didn't seem to be working as hard um running this benchmark on windows my graphics cards temperature wise were sitting around 95 to 97. ignore this this is just with the uh with fraps running that's the benchmark i got best part of 130 frames per second average score of 5434 now, exactly the same hardware running Ubuntu. Latest drivers. Lots of CPU cores, because there's, there's six, co six cores with hyper-threading making 12. That's the score. 41.7 average. Yikes. Max of 70 frames per second. And that's under load, so I don't think it was using my CPU as much. It was really doing the graphics cards and it wasn't using all of the capabilities. So back to the Windows 1 just to be on the safe side. Best part of 130 frames per second. And I think we're going to wrap it up. AMD, you need to work on your drivers for Linux. Thank you very much for watching, boys and girls. Hope you enjoyed it.